So what's up my YouTube viewers? Um, I picked up the Sega Game Gear today from the flea market. It had some uh, some issues with the uh, audio video. Um, I got a game right now inside there, Sonic 2. I took the battery covers off uh, just to get it open and everything. So this is what happens when we turn it on. You can see that you know there's Sonic 2 in there. It should be loading up right now. So it's the capacitors that are gone in this. Now I already took this thing apart, so just to be a little bit quicker for the video, pop the game out. Okay, and we're gonna have to pop these out real quick. I'm just gonna pop the batteries out. Okay, so I popped the batteries out and I removed the screws. This is the inside of the Sega Game Gear. Okay, now it has sound issues. Now, where the volume control knob is here, that's your sound board. So this whole board here. So these are the capacitors here. There's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so if you want to replace those capacitors, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, it's not really focusing, but there's some corrosion going on on those capacitors there. Now, if you want to replace the capacitors on there, I do. I did make a list. So the soundboard, uh, you're going to need three uh, capacitors, 100 microfarads at 6.3 volts, and then you're going to need uh, two capacitors at 47 microfarads at 4 volts. So when you when you go to replace these, that should bring back your sound. So that's the soundboard. Then we also have the video board. So this is the video end of the capacitors here. Now you can see them all here. There's quite a few here. Like there's one here, one here, 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 here. These all have to be replaced for the video issues that we have. So I did make a list of the capacitors if you guys need to pick them up. So for the video board, <clears throat> we have 100 microfarads at 6.3 volts times two of them. 47 microfarads at 50 volts times two of them. 4.7 microfarads at 35 volts, 33 micro, uh, microfarads at 6.3 volts, 22 microfarads at 6.3 volts, 10 microfarads at 6.3 volts, and uh, 68 microfarads at uh, 6.3 volts. So once these are all replaced in theory, uh, and I've done this before a few times, you want to replace all of them. Like I can see some corrosion on some of them. So this is this is the issue right here with the. Um, the video problem. So there's your there's your audio problems. Here's your video problems. So I'm going to run out to the store, grab some capacitors. I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to come back, do the work, and hopefully she lights up. Okay, so I did the work to this unit. Uh, by the time I went down to the store, got the capacitors, the right ones, which took a few minutes, and had them all soldered in. Um, probably about an hour and a half now. It's been. So, um, I did pop the game back in, and we're going to test it out, and hopefully we get some sound and some color. That's a good sign. There we go. We have the sound, too. Alright, so it should work. Let's start. Oh, she's working. So, oh yeah, she's working. So you can see, you know, a couple hours of your time, I spent $5 for this. It cost me about, I'd say, I don't know, 12 bucks for the capacitors, a couple hours of my time. You know, now this is, this is worth close to 80 bucks now. No problems, like, it's kind of hard for me to videotape, but... You can see it's actually working, so yeah, that's it. So if you want to get a game gear and you you know you can do some uh, some hands-on kind of work, there you go. You make yourself a, a little day of doing it and uh, you get good results in the end. So that's your sake of game gear. That's how to fix it. I hope this video was helpful. Please comment or like below. Thank you.